A ta mari e kia koutou e te iwi huri noa i te motu te nā koutou. A ta mari e. It's your girl Sophronia Smith and I'm here at 92.7 Arrow FM Radio uh, Masterton, Access Radio Masterton, uh, in te karu o te ika o Weirarapa, which is the eye of the fish of Maui, and you're listening to Mama e Preneur Under Construction. And over the next few weeks, so I only have a few weeks left, every Thursday 9 to 10, I will be sharing my learnings from the Kahao i Te Ao e-commerce program, which is supported by Te Whare Huka Huka, who have the vision to improve the lives of 10 million Indigenous people through education. So just want to give a big shout out to Travis O'Keefe and all of his team um, who are the masterminds of Kahau i Te Ao. Um, so before we start, I'm going to plug a few uh, COVID corridor and as you know, as you might know, you might not know, on the 16th it was announced there are two new locations of interest that have been released for Masterton. They are Sterling Sports Masterton Friday 12th of November from 1.40 to 2 and Cotton On Masterton Friday 12 November one um, just after 10 o'clock to 1.10 to 1.20 in the afternoon. Um, so it's asked if you can check for, if you have any symptoms, um, then it's important that you get a, um, a test done and that you isolate. So where can you get tested? Um, there is drive through at, drive throughs at the Master 10 Medical, 9am to 4pm. And they ask that you phone first. So that's 0637 001. That's Master 10 Medical. And then other medical practices um, also are also testing. And they all ask that you phone in first. If you need to get vaccinated, just remember that we have our three um, clinics. The first is the Koma Iwa, the Iwi Lead Clinic, and that is at 195 Chapel Street. The second one is departmental building next to Subway, um, and then um, and that is on the second floor, and then at the Fa- um, Featherston Community Centre. Okay, um, so. Before we talk about today's corridor or, or I introduce it, I'm just going to do a small recap. So I always start with a recap of what did we do last week and it's just to um, to peak our, our memory. So we have been, over the last couple of weeks, we have been creating a one-page um, store. And um, last week I talked about the VSL, which is the video sales letter. And um, I created my very first sales letter and and, um, and, there's, and I shared all of these different techniques, parts of the cake or ingredients of the cake that you need to include if you're going to create a really effective one. The purpose of the, um, because the purpose of the video is to convince your customer, avatar or potential buyers that your product or your service and your offer stack, so it's a bundle of products, it can solve their problems. And um, I made my, like I said, I made my very first one. It was both exhilarating and challenging. Um, The key things are make it short, snappy. Um, Be sure that you draw people in, that your messaging is clear, that it's captivating. But, you know, I know know for me, if I, if something goes longer than four or five minutes, I'm out. I don't have time to be watching a video. Okay, um, but also remember, if the viewer doesn't understand very quickly how your product or your service is going to help them or solve their problem, they're not going to watch your video, okay? The second thing I talked about was Calendly, and um, Calendly is an appointment booking app, and it's free. You, there is a paid um one as well, or uh, a paid um, subscription, but the free one works really well, and it's especially for those who have a server such as coaching, and um, Calendly, what it does is that it helps, um, it integrates with um, 
with Office 365, Google and Outlook. And what it means is that a person comes into your, they watch your video, they think, or your, your video sales letter potentially, and they think, oh yeah, cool, I, I need help from that coach. I'm going to book an appointment to see them. So click on a button, book now, and then um, Calendly will help them um, set up the time and dates that you've set, so you as being the coach, you've set preset times and dates where they're able to come in and and um, meet with you. Um, it also Calendly also has some um, questions that the potential coachee needs to answer, and the, what that does is that that helps you as a coach knows this the right person. Is this the you know is this person somebody that I can work with? And if not, then it just means that they're not. They have the f they're better suited for somebody else. Um, yeah, so check that out. Calendly, it's a free app, and it's for for those who have um, a coaches or want to book book in sessions to have a call at all with um, with the coach. The third thing that I talked about was reflections and le lessons that I've learned that I'd learned from Kahau Ite Ao um, thus far, and um, and I focus um, on mindset. And mindset is an ongoing theme that I've talked about. And I would say that the fact that it, mindset was the very first module that we had in our program, and it was the very first thing that I spoke about on this. Pro on this program, my radio show, it actually tells you how important mindset is. Um, but if you want to listen to last week's call or just go onto the Arrow FM Facebook page, you'll see it there. And you can also download the Arrow FM podcast app and listen to my program and any of the other programs that are um, that are offered through Arrow FM Masterton. So, 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 so what's on today's menu? So what is this juicy corridor that we're going to be talking about today? So as I mentioned just before, we've been talking, we've been um, building our, um, our one-page store and this week um, it has all been it has been about the administrative logistics and you know and it's so and it's really interesting if you're um, not really au fait um, on on the computer because this requires a lot of technical things all I would say is breathe through it you can get through it I think that I'm I'm kind of like medium I'm I'm not an expert I'm not a beginner um, and I think that there is a lot of resources there to support you and it's just about taking your time through each of the steps each of the processes and um, and just breathe and breathe out get up go and have a, a kai or a whatever a, a smoke whatever you do and um, yeah you got this you got this okay but the things that we're going to be talking about today, and these are all things that I've actually done this week, was connecting your domain. So what's a domain? A domain simply is a um, an e-commerce website that has your name on it. And so for example, think of Trade Me Warehouse New Zealand owned um, businesses and they have a domain It's and it's, you know, it's identifiable. Um, it has their trademarks on it. When you go onto their website you, or their domain, you know, oh yeah, this is Warehouse, this is Trade Me. So that's the first thing, connecting a domain. The second one was Google Analytics. So what the even is Google Analytics? Um, so Google Analytics allows you to track and understand your customers' behavior when they come into your store. So when you want to build your store, your online store, you get an understanding of who you're talking to. Um, and um, Google An Analytics is really good for that, building your store. So you know who your customer is, who you're talking to, um, and what you need to do to keep them in and, and, and make them convert and buy. The next thing that we talked about, or we did, um, and we'll be talking about, is um, Facebook pixels. And and when I first heard this pixels, I was like, oh, that, is that selfies? I'm, I'm good at taking pictures, selfies. <laughs> it's nothing like that. Um, the Facebook pixel is a snippet, is a, is a, it's a code that allows you to track visitors coming into your website. Okay, so that's either on Facebook and also on Instagram. Okay. 
And um, yeah, so we're going to just focus on those three things. And then the rest of the program and throughout the program, I'm actually going to be sharing a lot of things that have helped me push through. Um, I would say that uh, Travis, who is our mentor, our teacher, our kayako, he mentioned that the last two weeks that have just gone by, that they are the most intense and they have been. And um, and for me, um, I've drawn on a few te- tips and techniques to help me break through, get through all of that anxiety and the stress and, and illness and all of those things. And, um, and so I'm going to be sharing a few of those things. What have I done? What have I actually done to... Um, to help me break through and um, I'm going to share it in the hope that it might help somebody else Um, you know we're all learning we're all in this together and um, the great thing the thing that I love about kahau i te ao there's many things but the the thing that I love is that I've got the support I've got a group there's a group of us um, from um, if any of my sisters and brother are listening, Nahawefa and Sister B, um, I love I love the fact that there is so much support in Afi um, for each other when we're you know struggling and learning new things. Um, and the key thing is that no one gets left behind. We're all in this together, and we all Afi and support each other. Okay, so uh, before we get into the corridor, um, we're going to have our first waiata, and our waiata, it is a beautiful waiata, it's called mana wahine, uh, mana wahine, you could say mana wahine is a powerful woman, she is a woman that knows her worth, she is one who is a leader, um, she is a mother, there are just many um, definitions of a mana wahine, this waiata mana wahine is by East Coast um, Breves, I think that's how you pronounce them, featuring Oiwa. Um, and today it's all about acknowledging and lifting um, lifting up wahine, but people, um, lifting up um, and acknowledging women that are raising children by themselves, that are fighting for families, hapu communities, that are leading and helping others rise. We see you, Queen, and we're cheering for you. Um, so this is uh, Mana Wahine. I'd like 
Liberty, all we need is faith. 